is a crucial game for South China in the red and white, already lost to Jubilo Iwata. And they really need to come out with something tonight if they're to keep going in this tournament. They were underdogs coming in. The Hong Kong champions. And up against the side in Dalian tonight, who have a very impressive track record behind him in the last 12 months. Sheldon Thomas gets things underway. And South China playing with a 4-4-2 formation against the new look Dalian side. Plenty of changes from the team that won the Chinese championship, the Marlborough League, including a couple of new Swedish players. One of them leaves it there as Heckland waits for his teammates to carry it through. Wang Peng just going a little too far though. Peter Gerrits, a new face for South China. Three new men for them coming into this competition. Peter Gerrits, Sheldon Thomas and Lei Gong. And they performed well against Jubilo Iwata. Certainly South China far from disracing themselves. The goalkeeper, the Hong Kong international, Kevin Locke. Header one by Stefan Bengal. Dalian with Li Ming playing wide on the right. Wang Feng not quite able to control it. Fair crowd in his stadium tonight. Very cold conditions in Shanghai. Several of the players wearing gloves. And the pitch rock apart. Claimed in midfield by Wei Yi Min. Offside though against Hans Eklund. He's one of the new Swedes in the team. Of course, Diane's success in the Marlborough League last season, heavily built around Nicholas Nyland, Magnus Skildmark, Jens Felström and Christian Lundgren, all Swedish players, but they're all no longer here. Instead, Stefan Bengel, Hans Eklund. They've looked good in training, though. Hans Eklund's definitely a man to lead the line for Dalian. I'm sure it'll take him time to combine with Wei Yimin up front. Wang Tao, the big man, is on the bench. May see him a little later on. Offside. Kinwo Lee, the man to be caught. Dalian, nice ball forward to Hans Eklund. He's got Gerrits on his back. Gets the pass in well. Wang Peng tries to turn, gets a shot in, but wide of the target. The Chinese midfielder seeing a half chance after the work by Eklund on the left. Also missing from the Dalian side today, Hao Hai Dong, the leading striker. That's a leading striker in China. He's being rested after his tough season. Lei Gong over the ball. With him is Lin Sung. Legong who takes it short and gets it back again, just chips it forward, looking for Sheldon Thomas, but slow to react. And when Hay in goal for Dalian. On the bench for Dalian today, the coach Chi Shang Bin, who was of course highly tipped to take over the national team. He's been beaten to the job by the Englishman Bobby Houghton who's also in the ground tonight, getting a first chance to watch his Chinese players. He did, of course, do some coaching with China last year. 
but now it's an altogether different perspective for Bobby Houghton. Another half chance there. Maybe just slightly slow to control it under pressure from Stefan Bengel. Eugen with the throw. Five minutes gone, still goalless. Remember this, the Far East Club Championship. Second game for South China. Already lost one game. The it's the opening match for Dalian, who go on to play Jubilo Iwata in their final group game, and one of those sides will qualify for the final. You're the group with the Korean champions, Pusan Daewoo, a very interesting side from Russia, Rota Volgograd, who are second in the Russian league, and Shanghai Shenhua. Senji Hei. Goal kick taken. Kam Fei Ko, the veteran centre back, hoofing it forward for South China. Now 36 years of age. Dalian with a nice through ball and maybe a chance here and surely well that was the best chance so far Wei Yi Min finding a way through but Kevin Locke and his defence doing enough to hold out and Sung under pressure Li Ming with the corner Killed in, Kevin Locke has to punch, gets one hand to it. It'll be a Dalian throw on the right-hand side. The expectation around the ground was that Dalian should be convincing victors here, but South China holding out just fine for the moment. And also impressing in that first game against uh, Jubilo Iwata, Dunga and all. Ah <laughs> Weilun leaves it. South China win the throw. <laughs> One other notable absentee for Dalian is Zhang Enhua. He's on the bench tonight, the international defender. Just back from a trial with Southampton in England. Slightly over enthusiastic by Mantic Poon, away on the right hand side. Twenty two year old defender from South China. making a little push forward and still trying to chase the ball. Instead it falls to Wei Yi Min. Looks for support. It's let run. And Gerrit gets a hopeful boot to it. Ah Wei Lun. Does enough to win the throw. Lin Sung. Tries to thread it through. It's interrupted by Bengal. Boon. So trying to trying to spread it wide and get it round the back of the Dalian defence. But no real threat to them so far. Half interception by Lee Gong. Kam Fei Ho sparks off another South China push forward. 
And Tick Poon. Didn't quite expect that one. Maybe a bit more width for them to work in here. But in the end, a very hopeful shot. Lin Sung putting it way over the bar. And no threat to Han Wen Hei in the Dalian goal. The other Dalian goalkeeper in the squad is Chen Dong. With those people missing out in the game, making sure they at least get some warmth inside them. It is bitterly cold here. Quite a breeze as well, swirling around in this <laughs> Jabe Stadium. <laughs> Wei Min. Perhaps a bit too long. And Kam Fei Ho able to clean up. <coughs> South China not had the greatest of seasons in the Hong Kong League. Started off fairly poorly. But they have been coming back towards a little bit more form recently. Kevin Locke, who was in a perennial battle with Hesford for the goalkeeping spot. The veteran Englishman Ian Hesford kept him out of many an occasion. But South China have a three-foreigner obligation that means sometimes they rotate their goalkeepers and decide in the position because of the foreigner factor. Fok Bishan with the free kick. Goes straight through to Han Wen Hei. Flicked on by Eklund. Wei Yi Min working for it, and he's got a chance here inside the box and brought down. Surely a penalty. No question about it. Kam Fei Ho, the man who brought him down. He created the opportunity, Wei Yi Min. Worked well, and as Kam Fei Ho tried to recover, he clattered into his legs. And penalty. So it'll be the Swede, Hans Eklund, who has the chance to score Dalian's first goal of this Far East Club Championship. Kevin Locke stands and waits. Hans Eklund steps up. One now. And the shooting skills are out for Hans Eklund. Dalian 1 0 up against the Hong Kong champions. And no problems with a penalty kick. Very cool, very calm, and fairly straight. Just the right hand side of the goal. Kevin Locke sent the wrong way. And Dalian are 1 0 in front. Ji Hong Chan caught in possession. Good work by Li Ming, one of the seven Chinese internationals in the Dalian squad. And maybe a chance here for Eklund. Kevin Locke very quick to react. Hans Eklund, the Swede, making a move, but Kevin Locke read it all the way. Goal kick. This competition as the champions of Korea, Hong Kong, China. The Russian second place team. In addition to those sides, 
Shanghai also present. And the Japanese champions, Jubilo Iwata. The idea is that it'll maybe spread to include North Korea in future years and have the six champions of the six countries that make up Far Eastern football. with a Polish coach Andreas Strelau plenty of other interested international observers at the ground here today Ao Wei Lun very much one of the glamour figures of Hong Kong football but we've seen little of him in this game so far Dalian really controlling the South China attack straight back in again an important header won by Li Ming Wei Yi Min first of the ball, the man who forced the penalty. Nice little touch looking for Eklund. Can Fei Ko did enough. Li Ming just pushed away by Kevin Locke. Stefan Bengal. Li Ming again. Nice to cut inside. And the suggestion that maybe Hans Eklund was pulled back but the referee doesn't give it and Kevin Locke will take the goal kick mainly in this large stand on the near side rather more shelter there but the games have caught the imagination of the Shanghai public plenty of talk of Donga coming to town interest too in the new Russian stars Road to Volgograd the Russian team Perhaps a surprise package in the Russian League, traditionally dominated by the Moscow clubs. But Volkograd had a very good season last year. They've got the best striker in terms of goals scored. And four of the impressive Russian under-21 side that's thought to be the future for Russian football after disappointment of not qualifying for the World Cup. Hans Eklund through, but offside. Interesting to see how these new Swedes adapt to life in Dalian. Eklund's shown plenty of effort so far. And put away the penalty very nicely. But apart from that, not too much to show on this cold Shanghai night. Li Yujuan making the push up front. But well read by Lin Sung. South China get a chance to build. Lack of communication. And that's gone out. Talian throw. Lei Gong. Maybe you're just trying to do a little too much. Nice turn and nice skills too by Li Ming. Kevin Feiko 
and Fresleet. Sheldon Thomas scored against Jubilo Iwata. That's in his debut for South China. Gerrits, the other debutants on that night. Dalian 1 0 in front, 20 minutes gone. All a bit leisurely at the back. Kampeko. Peter Gerrits. The long ball, but the offside flag. Chi Hong Chan caught on his near side. Italian's <laughs> coach, Chi Shang Bin. <coughs> the real thinkers of Chinese football. It's been good to see the way that his stars have progressed under him. I'm sure Bobby Houghton will want to use Chang Bin's knowledge as he tries to build a new national team. Wang Tung unable to control it, but uh, Dalian have won the corner. It'll be Li Ming who'll take it. Target, but with no power from Hans Eklund. Two defenders around him, but he still got to the ball first. Sheldon Thomas beaten to the header. But South China win the throw on the right. And Tick Poon. Gerrit, Kam Fei Ko, Lin Sung. Now Weiland touches and goes. Kok Fui Shen will leave the throw. And Lin Sung will take it. This Shabe Stadium looking in good condition. It's a nice ground. Capacity of around 16,000. I'm sure that'll be tested by some of the games later in this tournament. Particularly if Shanghai Shenhua can put together a run themselves. Zi also back for Shanghai Shenhua after his spell in England. There's been much talk around the ground about how the Chinese players would fare if they played in a major European league. But I think anyone who's seen much of Dalian or Shanghai in the Marlborough League would know that there's plenty of skills around and plenty of strength too. And what a great story for Fan Ji Yi if he was able to at least spend some time in the Premier League in England. Long range chip just over the top. Kevin Locke was towards the edge of his area. Li Ming tried to take the opportunity. A nice thought. Just not quite low enough in the end. I'm sure a few worrying thoughts through Kevin Locke's mind. <laughs> Away Lum with a flick on. Sheldon Thomas looking to return it. But in the end, it's offside against Chi Hong Chan. The 21 year old playing on the left hand side of the midfield for South China. A 
Now Waylon caught offside. Dalian's defence looking very organised and efficient. Stefan Bengal appears to have slotted in very nicely into the centre back role. There were five foreigners, of course, in Dalian's squad in the last league season. Not just the four Swedes, but also Oleg Dubov. But the Latvian also departed and not part of the squad tonight. Kevin Locke with the goal kick. Bengal was first to the header. Well claimed in the left though by South China. And Sung did well. All a bit scrappy. But maybe now Dalian can break. Wang Peng sends it out wide to Wei Yi Min. He's got Eklund in the middle and chips it over the top. And Dalian had a serious man advantage there that they couldn't make use of. And Wei Yi Min knows his cross should have been better. Wang Peng with a great run and through ball. And then Wei Yimin trying to chip it to the far side. Maybe even a thought of a shot there. Whatever the thought, the practice didn't quite work out. Kevin Lock appears to have hit a maybe a big divot. Senji High. Game gone a little quiet since that early penalty. For the way, of course, by Hans Eklund after the impressive run by Wei Yi Min. <coughs> Dalian 1 0 up in this their first game in the Far East Club Championship. got one more group match as they play Jubilo Iwata and then the winner of this three-team group goes through to play the other winner in the competition Sheldon Thomas nice touch and maybe a chance here for South China good shot good goal Le Lei Gong puts it in the corner and South China, after being stifled by the Dalian defence for so much of this game, a good cross on the right, and a fine first-time finish. Sheldon Thomas threading the ball through, Kinwo Lee with the cross, and a great shot by Li Gong. So 1-1 one, one, and a real upset if South China could hold this scoreline. <laughs> Eklund beaten to the ball by Gerrits and Gerrits again blocks it. Li Ming shot. Chips it through, looks for Eklund. Can he go around the keeper? He can. Eklund shoots and goes wide. And the Swede almost had his second goal of the game. Clean through, but couldn't quite get his balance right. After going past the keeper perfectly, 
and side puts it into the side netting. Lock just got a hand to it. it. May have upset Eklund's plans a little in the process. But Dalian really should have gone 2 1 in front. Sheldon Thomas for South China. Crowded out in midfield. Lee Ming with a touch. Now Wei Lun brought down. Referee says play on. Gives the advantage. Hong Kong captain still on the floor. And no real advantage taken by South China. Now some treatment to Ao Wei Lun. Lee Jujian at the back, just waiting the moment for his throw in. Plenty of men forward for Dalian. Cross blocked. Oh, good kills. And Dalian now with a real chance. The penalty box is crowded. And Eklund just couldn't quite get a foot to it. Kinin Woli. South China at least released the pressure. Kim Wo Lee's continued his run. Bengal gets it back. And South China really hurrying at the moment, causing problems for Dalian. That one almost found its way to Shogun Thomas. Bengal with a poor ball. Daliana being made to fight for this now. It's 1-1 one one inside the first half still. Kinwo Lee looking to play towards the far side and Awe Lun. Just a bit short for him. Li Ming to Bengal. He's pushed forward a little more now. Seems to be playing just in front of the back four. <coughs> Kevin Locke with the punch. And hooked over the top. Wang Peng. Not seen so much of him in this game so far. Senji Hay with the great skills on the left. That's what created a chance earlier. South China holding out. who created the first goal. Gets another chance here. Grand Kong couldn't control it. Well, it could Kim Wo Lee. Eklund. He's still up front on his own. Haven't seen too much of him with the ball at his feet. And when Hay. Bengal penalised for high kicking. Okay. 
Dalian one, South China one. Sheldon Thomas does well to turn. And just shrugged off the ball. Gerrard has come forward. Cut out by Li Zhen. South China's coaching staff, I'm sure, fairly pleased with his first half performance. They've not given too much away at the back, and they seem to have been growing in strength through the game, and maybe a chance here in Wo Li. Just pushed off the ball in the end. Nice thought by the midfielder to chest it down. He's won the free kick, they've won the uh, corner kick. <laughs> Le Gong's corner. Eklund had come back to help his defence. Gets ahead to it, concedes the throw in. Noe Lund. driven in and just a little too high Yu <laughs> Jujian Eklund knocks it back Sheldon Thomas tries to get a foot in but Dalian keep possession Li Ming chips it forwards Bengal does well. And Dalian with an advantage. Kevin Locke couldn't hold it the first time, but he grasped it to his chest the second time. And that's good enough for South China. Xu Hong pressing hard, but Kevin Locke is it enough to keep him out. Sheldon Thomas and a good tackle from Senji Hai. They go. Interesting. Eklund's making the run in the middle. He won't be needed. Dalian have won the corner though, thanks to Wei Yi Min's efforts on the left. That was aimed towards Eklund. Confusion in the middle. It's been given Dalian's way. Hey, 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 
Five minutes to go in this first half. Still South China won, Dalian won. Far East Club Championship. I'm sure the Japanese players from Jubilo Iwata in the crowd will be quite happy about this scoreline. If it stays this way, all they'll need is a draw against Dalian in their last match, and that would take them through to the final. Bengal. Li Ming. Towards Eklund, knocked down. A good save with his legs from Kevin Locke to frustrate Wei Yi Min. Nice skills by Li Ming. Eklund with the right knockdown. Wei Yi Ming got in there first, but Kevin Locke somehow kept it out. Curling center. Went wide from the corner though. Wei Yi Min, again the main threat for Dalian. Wei Yi Min obviously slightly in the shadows of Hao Hai Dong and Wang Tao for much of the league season. He's performing a good role tonight. He's in the box at the moment. If the cross can come over, Bengal steps up. The goal scorer Lei Gong for South China. Sheldon Thomas. Sik Poon just sends it straight out. Play <laughs> Gong, a super shot from him that brought South China back level. Edge of the area, first time right in the corner. Again, the main man, but this time <coughs> he has to rely on support to go through. Li Zhuzhen couldn't quite find his way out of that maze. It'll be a set out China folk. Well, a free kick given in the end. Why do they look confused? Lin Sung with a free kick then for South China. Just a few minutes left in this first half. Kin Wo Lee knocks it back. And Tik Poon back to Kin Wo Lee. Sheldon Thomas is shrugged off. Yimin. Italian goal kick. South China's coaching staff, team manager Yun Wa Li, within the coaches are uh, Man Wei Wong and Kuo Kong Chan. League season due to kick off in just a month or so's time. 
So the end now, with the expectations built up by two successive championships. Also an expectation they'll do well in this competition. But South China have held out well in this first half. Eklund again got behind the defence, but couldn't get his header on target. Kamfei <laughs> Ko trying to cope with a new Swedish player. Just seconds left now in this first half. Kevin Locke's free kick. And that's the last touch of the ball in the first 45 minutes. Interesting football. Hans Eklund putting Dalian 1-0 in front from the penalty spot after Wei Yimin's run. Lei Gong equalising for South China. Half-time score, Dalian 1, South China 1. 的一个数据统计and Eklund get things underway for Dalian, the man who scored the Chinese champion's goal in the first half from the penalty spot. And Eklund already involved in the action here. Just struggling with Peter Gerrit. Take Poon with a long free kick. Xu Hong, the Dalian captain. And Dalian now attacking at speed, they let it run a little too far. Dalian with that huge unbeaten run they had in the Chinese League came to an end last game of the season against Shanghai. They've made one change at half time. Zhao Ting has come on, playing left hand side in midfield. Attempt at glory. Rai smile on his place as he makes his way back. Sheldon Thomas now for South China. Another enthusiastic challenge. Senji Hai trying to walk his way out of defence. And Sheldon Thomas giving up the free kick. Gordon <laughs> touch by Kanfei Ko to South China. That's the new man, Zhao Ting, on as a substitute. 
Another young player in this Dalian squad. Canfeco happy to concede the throw in. Oh, missed kick could let in Eklund. And Kevin Locke quick to react again. Eklund saw the half chance. But Kevin Locke using his feet well. Eklund frustrated again. Li Ming with a corner. Gets it back again. Closely watched, but he tries a shot. Oh, in at the near post. Fantastic goal by Li Ming. There seemed no chance there at all. Maybe a question about Kevin Locke's positioning. But he could hardly have expected a shot from this angle. Li Ming, powerful effort, left foot and just crept inside that post. Kevin Locke expecting the cross, and Li Ming taking advantage. So Dalian are 2-1 up against South China now. Mantic Pun with a through ball. Wang Pung. <laughs> Wei Yimin. <laughs> Peter Gerrits goes bundling in. In fact, the first foul was committed by Kinwo Lee. A free kick well wide from Senji Hai. Free kick again, Sheldon Thomas. The tackle by Kinwo Lee. Xu Hong.
poor pass. It should let in South China. Aoi Lun under pressure. He gets his pass away though. And Kinwo Lee is still pressing. Italian have enough men back to make sure. Gerrards had made the run forward. Italian coaching staff not looking too impressed. The young to back pushing forward for South China. Kick though. No way, Lund. A judge to have made the foul. No real pressure on Kevin Locke. Good tackle by Eckland. Looking for support, there's hardly anyone there in the middle. And he wins the free kick. Maybe a touch of frustration for a Mantic Poon. And he's booked. First booking of the game. Hans Eklund robbing the ball from Mantic Poon. And the reaction leading to the booking. Could have been better for Dalian. Kevin Locke looking rather relieved. But no power behind the header. It was a clean header on goal. But maybe now Dalian will take advantage. Kinwo Lee getting the foot to the ball. It's one back possession for South China. Now involved again. Awe Lun steps out of the challenge. Cheeky back heel. Plenty of space here. Xiao Ting gets the ball in. So China break once more. Now Wei Lun steps into trouble, but wins the free kick. Brought down by Sung Ming Hui. to be fairly badly hurt by this one. And we could have seen the end of the South China captain in this competition. Antic Boone waiting to take the free kick. Lee trying to put the through ball to Sheldon Thomas. Who works well to get it back from Zhang Enwa. Zhang 
outing. Oh, well, Lund getting treatments on the side. And while the 10 men of South China play on, Lei Gong will take the free kick. The goal scorer. And Zeklund wins it back. He's looking for the return. It's been slow to get there, but now Hans Eklund gets a real chance on goal. The Swede takes aim, and Kevin Locke makes another good save. Well, Wei Yi Min's through ball was a bit too delayed, but Eklund still had a clean shot on goal. Xiao Ting looks for Eklund again. Spectacular, but not effective. So half an hour to go in the game, and Dalian 2-1 up against South China. This was Eklund's chance before, Kevin Locke out well. Kick taken quickly from the wrong place. Dalian will have to bring that one back. Xiao Ting, the man pulled over. China breathe again. Maybe not for long. <laughs> Kevin Locke with the goal kick. Zhu Hong, Zhang Enhua, Shen Jihai, Zhao Ting is robbed. Sheldon Thomas is waiting for it, but Zhang Enhua is first to a ball. Feels the handball against Lei Gong. Not given. And Dalian simply with too many numbers back for South China. Eklund gets an important touch in it, but it's given away by Zhao Ting. Kin Wo Lee for South China. And Han Wen Hei has to. Take it with two hands just to be safe. with a throw. Lin <laughs> Sung again. Oh! Lovely through ball. And now Wei Lun 
Well, he must have thought he'd scored. And strangely, didn't really seem to be going for the follow-up as it bounced off the crossbar. Just curled in. That way, Lund suddenly found himself free. His first time shot against the bar. He pulled up. And the keeper pushed it over second time round. South China making a substitution. Ao Lun finally coming off. Didn't look completely fit after that injury in the first half. Xing Kuang Young comes on. Oh, and South China almost got the equaliser. Chi Hong Chan coming off the near post. And his header just angled wide. <laughs> Peter Gerrits up in attack and his shot goes wide too. But South China certainly playing their part in this game. Eklund couldn't quite control it, and Gerrits a first-time shot. Xiao Ting. Shang Enhua spreads it wide. Dalian looking towards Eklund, and Kevin Locke with two hands this time. In Wally, Sheldon Thomas. Early again. Gerrits. In Sung. Straight through to Han Wenhai. Kampei Ko with a header. Shouting. Li Ming spreads it wide. Liu Zhuxian trying to get round the back, but Chi Hong Tuan frustrating him. <laughs> Li Ming with the corner. It's the position where he scored that spectacular second goal from. Reminder earlier on. Dalian led through Hans Eklund's penalty. Lei Gong brought it back to 1 1, and then Li Ming, a 25 yard shot from a narrow angle that made one. In Wali. Good tackle. Xiao Ting staying confident under pressure. Senji Hai. Dalian again threatening, but they couldn't find a way through to Eklund. <laughs> Eklund. 
Copeland again. Played by Mantic Poon. Xiao Ting takes a shot. And why? It's been a lively beginning by the substitutes on at half time. Kimwoli claiming it should have gone the other way. But Dalian now enjoying a 2-1 lead. Steps out to the challenge by Wei Yi Min. But four men on him quickly. Thomas, the man down for South China. Just his second game for the club. Scored in his first one against Jubilo Iwata. And having already lost one of the strikers in Aoi Lun. South China will be very disappointed to see their second front man go off as well. Followed through on the ankle. Zhang Enhua with the challenge. Mantic Poon with the free kick. Kinwo Lee looks to have pushed forward a little. Sun Ling Hui. Offside against Eklund on the near side, surely, no, the referee says play on. Wang Feng. And the overhead kick had no force behind it from Li Ming. to prevent the corner. This will be a goal kick to South China. <laughs> Dalian still have Wang Tao on the substitutes bench. The big striker. Not seen so far in this game and uh, I'm sure plenty of the fans hoping they get a sight of him soon. Two substitutions made for Dalian. Stefan Bengal and Wang Feng have gone off. Xiao Ting and Sin Ming Hui has come on. One change so far for South China. Now Wei Lum replaced by Ching Kuang Young. Sheldon Thomas is back on the field after receiving treatment for his injury. Oh, yeah. 
and Thomas now has possession. Rather well, given to him on a plate, and he goes down again. It's the same man who made the challenge, Zhang Inhua. Also brought him down the first time. And rather the same sort of challenge. But it just left in a little too long. Lei Gong. Will take the free kick. Straight into the three-man wall. Gerrit steps his way out of those challenges, gets into a bit more trouble, and Dalian could break here, and they certainly have an advantage. Clean through on goal, and wide. Senji High. A real opportunity for the youngster. It was four on one, the Dalian advantage. And just miskicked his shot. <laughs> Offside against Kinwo Li. Zhu Hong to take the free kick. Zhang Enhua. Kinwo Li looking for runners. He's got Sheldon Thomas on his right. Oh, and neatly stepped through, and South China are back level. And the Hong Kong team are springing a huge upset here. It was Kwok Fu Shun who stepped through the trouble and placed his shot in the corner. A lovely run. And it's 2-2. Two -two. And Dalian really caught napping. The 27-year-old midfielder brings it back level. And Dalian really need something now Eklund remember South China already beaten by Jubilo Iwata in their first game so the Japanese will be hoping for a draw here it will make their situation a lot easier in the last match of course if South China were to win would be even better for the Japanese. <laughs> Sun Ming Hui, Zhu Hong. In Wo Li hooks it upfield. Zhang Enhua is back for Dalian. Lovely ball. And frustration again for Dalian. South China hold their breath. Wei Yi Min's made plenty of good runs on that right hand side. It was a run from him that forced the penalty in the first half but couldn't quite get his shot on target Eklund taking the shot 
straight at Gerrard. Looks to be feeling it a little. Xu Hong. Li Ming. He's got So Ming Hui with him. Plenty of time for Man Tegun. And he'll leave it for Kevin Locke. Need footwork by Dalian in midfield. Eklund. Just 10 minutes to go. South China can't get it out of their own third of the field. Xu Hong, Zhang Enhua, Li Ming. Xiao Ting. Shen Jihai. Still running. Wei Yi Min is brought down, and that'll be a free kick to Dalian. Shen Jihai will take the free kick. Claimed easily by Kevin Locke. South China on the verge of a great upset here. The Chinese champions have twice led. South China have twice pulled it back to two all. Zhu Hong. Zhang Enhua. Sheldon Thomas. Kinwo Lee with a through ball. Gerrits under pressure from Eklund. Referee says play on. Sheldon Thomas. Antic Poom with a long ball. Dalian flick it forward through Li Ming. And this time the referee does blow for the foul. Zhu <laughs> Hong. Senji Hai. And the shot goes over from Wang Pung. by Han Wenhei after a moment's hesitancy in the Dalian defence. Senji Hai keeps going forward and the referee pulls it back and he kicks the ball away. But that appears to be unnoticed. It's Mantic Poon that's down. <laughs> Nick 
collision caused the injury. Mantic Poon limps off. So South China down to 10 men briefly. And a booking against Senji Hei. Second one of the match. Mantic Poon also booked earlier. And ball, and that'll be another booking. Xiao Ting goes in the book. So two all, just five minutes to go. And South China in a dangerous situation. And the ball just bobbles into the hands of Han Wen Hei. Quick goal kick, Eklund running onto it, one on one with Gerrits, who pushes him to the floor. <laughs> Kevin Locke kicks it away. Well, Gerrits might consider himself a little lucky there. Sheldon Thomas, Lin Sung. Ching Kwong Young. And now Thomas again, but Xu Hong is able to read it. That one curled out before it came back in play. Lin Sung will take the throw. So two all. South China against Dalian. South China on the attack. Sheldon Thomas. Curled into the area, that was looking towards Kinwo Lee. Get support. South China, plenty of people forward now. The long range shot is over the top. But South China not content with two all. They're looking to keep pushing forward, and that one wasn't too far over. Substitute King Chuang. Chung. Shang and Wa. That's a good ball for Eklund. Eklund gets a touch to it, and that should be the winner. And Eklund shoots to the skies again. One long ball, one good finish, and one victory for Dalian. The second goal of the game for Hans Eklund. And he's made an impression straight away on arriving for Dalian. And we might be seeing his shooting celebration a few times this season. Just knocks it over the top of Kevin Locke. And with just a couple of minutes left for play, that should be enough. Wei Yi Min. Eklund's finally got forward to support him. Wei Yi Min's down the floor. Well, South China had pushed forward in numbers searching for the victory to try and keep in this competition. But Zhang Enhua's long clearance and the finish of Eklund may well have finished them off. Li Ming. No spectacular from him this time. Good ball. Kin Wo Li. Beaten to it by Han Wen Hei. It's a last chance for South China now. Shelton Thomas. Eklund. 
Copeland, foul from behind. Ante Kuna's already booked. Dalian tried to calm things down. The Chinese champions, the Marlboro League champions, 3-2 in front. Senji Hai. And ball by Sun Ming Hui. free kick. Kin Wo Lee was trying to flick it on for Sheldon Thomas. Nice flick on, tries to square it. Well, he would have done better himself. Gerrard frustrates him again. Eklund towards the far post. South China able to break away. Full time should be any second now. Sheldon Thomas, though, still fighting for South China. He gets the free kick. take it. Gerrits goes forward for South China. Dalian break. Oh, and unlucky to hit the heels, but now Wei Yi Min is clear through. He has support. Can South China wrap it up? Oh, and a weak shot. And Senji Hai should have done better there. But that's full time. Dalian have won their first game of competition. South China go out. Dalian led us. 出来一个巧妙的挑射。就今天这场比赛啊，大连万能队可以说赢得相当惊险，三比二力克了南华会之后，我们看到接下来还有一场赛事。那我们看到，在 A 组的目前呢，由于大连万达队跟南华会，大连万达队跟日本的盘田呢，三叶队他们都是各获得一胜。那我们看到南华会目前呢打了两场比赛，两场比赛都是输球。好，今天这场赛事可以说是对大连万达。